Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Explore. In this tutorial, we are going to design a fuel injector. This is the design. So let's start from file, select new, then part, then click OK. Right click over the front plane, then normal to, then select sketch. Select line. From origin point, draw a horizontal line. Then vertically downward. Then horizontally inward a little bit. Then again vertically downward. Now inclined outward. They are automatically selected circle, but we need line. So press escape and then select line again. From here, draw a vertically downward line, then horizontally inward, then inclined outward, then horizontal a little bit, then vertically downward, then inclined inward. vertically downward again then horizontally parallel to the origin point smart dimension and select this line set as 7.5 mm select this line and set 8 mm the length of the inclined line is 2 mm This one is 8 millimeter. This line is 1 millimeter. And the inclined line is also 1 millimeter. This one is 2 millimeter. This line is 8 millimeter. The inclined line is 1 millimeter. This line is 11.4 millimeter. This line is 0.7 millimeter. And this one is four millimeter. Now press control and select these two points and select vertical. Now go to center line and connect these two points by center line. Now go to features and select revolve pause breaks. Now the preview is shown. Click OK. Now right click over this plane and select sketch. From here select normal to select polygon and the parameter should be 6 from origin point draw a hexagon select midpoint of a side Control select midpoint and select the circle and then select intersect and click OK. 
Now go to features and extrude boss. Then select four millimeter extrude and select okay. Now right click over this plane and select sketch. Select a circle and from origin point draw a circle. One dimension and the diameter of the circle is 19 millimeter. Then select extrude. The parameter is 10 millimeter. Then click OK. Right click over this plane and select sketch. Now go to circle and draw a circle. Diameter is 10.3 millimeter. Now from features select X2. Type 12 millimeter. Now right click over this thing and select sketch. Select polygon and the uh, parameter should be saved. From origin point, draw a hexagon. Control select the midpoint of the side and select the circle. Then select point side. From features, go to extrude. And extrude two millimeter. Then click OK. Right click over this plane and select sketch. Select a circle and from origin draw a circle. Diameter is twelve millimeter. Select extrude. Extrude 10 millimeter. Right click over this plane and select sketch. Select circle and draw a circle. Diameter is 6.5 millimeter. Now extrude 12 millimeter. Now select this eaves and select fillet. Fillet radius is 2 millimeter. Now select this edge and then fill it. Radius is 3 millimeter. Right click our display and select sketch. Select normal tool. Now select circle and draw a circle from origin. The dimension is 6.5 millimeter. From features select extrude cut.
now the parameter is 75 millimeter right click over this small surface and select sketch convert entities then select extrude curve select through all and then click ok right click over this plane and select sketch now click on convert entities Go to features from curve, select helix. The pitch is 1 millimeter and number of revolution is 9 millimeter. Then right click over front plane. Select sketch and select line. Draw a triangle. Select center line for the middle portion. Select smart dimension and this dimension is 0.44 millimeter. And this one is 1 millimeter. Then select mirror. Select these two sides and select the center line as mirror above. Then click OK. Now exit the sketch, select sweep cut and select the triangle and then select the helix. Now click OK. Now hide the helix and triangle. Select this edge and select fillet. The radius is 3 millimeter and then click apply. Right click on this plane and select sketch. Then go to circle, draw a circle to this edge. Then go to features, select extrude cut. Then clip side to out. Select 10 millimeter. Click on draft and select 70 degree. Then click OK. Similarly, on this side also. Now select this edge, then fill it. The radius is one millimeter. Press enter so fill it will automatically select it as it is the previous command. Select this edge and then one millimeter radius, then apply. Then click OK. Right click on this plane and then select sketch. Select circle and draw a circle up to this side. Then go to features, then extrude cut. Flip side to out. 
then click on graph and graph is 70 degree similarly on this side also Go to appearance and select mid chrome. Press control and select these surfaces. Now go to appearance, go to nickel and select burnished nickel. Now press control and then select these surfaces. Now go to appearance. Double click on chrome. Chrome play. Now select this surface. Select aluminium. Then double click on blue anodized aluminium. Select this surface, go to Chrome, then select Chrome Plate. Press Control and select this surface, this one. Select Magnesium. Then go to make magnesium. Select this surface. Then go to titanium. Then double click on cast titanium. Press control and select this surface and this surface. Go to tungsten. And select varnished tungsten. Select this surface and this surface, pressing control. Select titanium, and select varnish titanium. Select this surface. Select Chrome, then Chrome Play. Now go to File and select Save as Type Injector. 